Making games in Roblox is easier than making games on other platforms, especially if you're trying to make simple games. Even though a lot of people have started to hate Roblox Studio as an engine, I still believe that the process of making games in Roblox is slightly easier than making games than, say, Unreal Engine, for example. I could be biased though, I don't know. In my experience learning the skill of game development and developing different aspects for games, I believe that there are five things a game developer goes through in the journey of game development. And I also believe that being aware of these five stages can also help you grow faster and scale up in this almost ladder of stages. What are these five stages, you're asking? I will let you know, but first, let me tell you a story. It's 2020, I'm 16, and I've been trying to learn game development for a while, specifically programming. I haven't even fully finished one project, I'm obsessed. I want to have at the very least one project finished. I want to make a game that will ultimately get me some nice, sweet, and juicy bobux. So what do I decide to do? I decide that with a few months of experience and no experience in any other field other than scripting to make a whole battle royale game pretty much by myself. Well, actually, no. Now that I remember, I had my friend Marco working on this as well. He was doing the maps. But we were both very inexperienced and didn't really know what we were doing, really. You can already imagine how the project turned out. Yeah, I completed it. But it was a total mess. It wasn't even fun to play. I'm not even gonna lie, I did learn a lot of stuff in there, but I learned that stuff the hard way. If only I had stick to the plan of the five stages of a game developer, I would have gotten the experience I needed a lot faster. Now, what are these five stages? Okay, let's start. Let's talk about stage one, the baby dev stage. Stage 1 is when you decide to become a developer and you're starting to look at different tutorials online and stuff, something to guide you to learn about game development. On this stage, you're most likely just going to watch some tutorials and try to replicate it as best you can. Here you do not consider yourself a developer just yet, but you refer to yourself as someone trying to learn game development. It is really hard to go wrong in this stage, however, I will give you some tips since I was stupid enough to mess this up. On this stage, you should not be attempting to do any projects. I don't care what anyone tells you, if you try to do a project without fully knowing about the basics of your game dev skill, you're gonna have a tough time. It's gonna take 10 times longer and it will also prevent you from reaching the next stage. Now, the reason I call this the baby stage is because you need to be guided through everything. Chances are you need a tutorial for everything, you don't really know how to walk by yourself. The goal of this stage is to fully learn the basics of your game dev skill and really do not start any projects here. Just follow the tutorials and consume as much content as possible. I stayed a whole year on this stage just because I wanted to keep making different projects. Don't do it. Don't try to run before you know how to crawl because obviously you're going to fall. Up next we have stage 2, the walking stage. Stage 2 is all about experimenting with the knowledge you've already gathered. Here you start making as many projects as possible and due to you already having the basics fully mastered, your growth starts to compound, becoming exponential growth. You discover new things and then you discover new ways to combine the new things with the old things. It's a very satisfying stage to be in. If you're an experienced dev, then you must relate to what I'm saying here. It can be frustrating at times, but it is very satisfying looking back and seeing how far you've come in such a little amount of time. Then we have the third stage, the awakening stage. I know the name sounds a little cheesy, but hey, listen, entering this stage is more of like a psychological thing. At some point in stage two, once you've connected enough dots, you're like, wait a minute, I have this game idea. A week later, you're like, I have this other game idea. You try those ideas, you see you can make them. A week later, you get another idea, you experiment, you make it, and then you realize, oh, Oh, f I have the potential to make a hundred different games right now and that really hits you your ego might actually get a bit higher when it comes to game development which could be bad because I mean you're barely in stage 3 right you're not some god tier developer making projects is still very hard at times but finally realizing that you have potential to make anything if you put your mind to it, it really hits you and motivates you another very important thing in this stage is that you really start to take your project seriously and maybe by now you already have a successful game even if it's not in front page this is the stage I'm at right now I don't really have a successful game at the moment but I'm working on a couple of very promising projects I think I can make almost anything however how much time I need to do it might be another topic in itself which brings me to stage four now from this point on i'll be speculating how the next two stages are going to look based on some devs i know that i think of course they are further than me on the journey if you're an experienced dev let me know if i nailed it so stage four the acknowledgement stage this is most likely the most fun stage to be in since you will start meeting a whole lot of more developers since by now you have proven to the community that you're an experienced responsible and valuable developer people are going to try and contact you for projects you already have made a couple of good projects here and there 
there even if it's not on front page however most likely you started to earn or have been already earning for a while some money in real life from your work if you're lucky maybe you even leave off it however this is probably unlikely the whole point of this stage is refining your skills to the max to experience while you work on your game development network who knows maybe you're even a member of a small game team by now maybe you're the leader of a game dev team i don't know regardless of what your position is one thing is clear you're a valuable developer and you know what you're doing not only can you get things done but you can get things done significantly faster than someone that's in stage three i can't wait to enter this stage and the last thing i'm going to say about this is that this is probably the longest stage since you'll be mastering a lot of different areas from your game dev skill you can already imagine how much time it's going to take and then the last stage stage five the gut dev stage i think most people won't even get to this stage since they'll most likely quit in stage four or maybe not have the discipline to maintain the constant effort to get to stage five but in this stage you have an immense amount of both knowledge and experience in your game dev skill and you probably have a decent amount of experience on other game dev skills your name will probably start ringing bells in the community you have at least one successful game that's been in the front page you are most definitely earning a substantial amount of money from this on real life you know that you have a lot of knowledge but you also have a lot of people that can help you with your projects you have a solid network you have experience in marketing your games monetizing them etc however you will also know that you must stay vigilant and always be up to date so that you can stay on top staying sharp is very important so that's what you will do at the end of the day you understand you'll always be a lifelong student and that you alone won't be able to do any big ambitious projects by yourself which is why you have your supporting network that's all i have for today if you want to help me grow comment on what stage you're at anyways keep leveling up bro be safe and i'll see you when i see you peace